Does anyone know what a Mellotron is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. In the early 1960s, before there were sampling synthesizers, British audio engineers copied and improved on Harry Chamberlain's design of his Chamberlain Music Master. They created a musical instrument that could reproduce orchestral sounds better than anything that had been previously invented. That instrument, known as the Mellotron, uses tape recordings of various orchestral instruments. However, instead of a tape loop, these are eight-second recordings that always start at the very beginning, so that the sounds always have a natural attack. When a key is depressed, the tape starts to move across the playback head. A pulley system snaps the tape back to the beginning as soon as the key is released. If a group of notes needs to be held longer than eight seconds, the Mellotron musician has to be very skillful to release notes and then replay them in such a way that no detectable break is heard. There's also a tuning knob which is useful, since when many notes are played simultaneously, the drag of the multiple tapes often slows down the capstan and makes the pitch go slightly flat. This can be corrected using the tuning knob. The tapes are a non-standard 3 8 inch wide as opposed to quarter inch or half inch, possibly to ensure that the tapes cannot be copied or duplicated, or possibly for added tensile strength or better signal to noise. In any case, Mellotrons were popular in the 1960s and 70s, and were used by bands both in studio and in live performances. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.